Hello and welcome to Room with a View with me, Vijay Sylvia. The latest trend in the movie industry is to continue on the profits of money makers, those films that pull in the big bucks. Originality seems to be in the background of movie making and remake is the mantra of the day. One such movie that I'm going to talk about is The Karate Kid starring Jackie Chan and Jaden Smith, the remake of The Karate Kid release in 1984. Let's go! In 2010, 20% skill, 15% concentrated power, 5% pleasure, 50% pain, 100% reason to remember the name. The Karate Kid. When I heard about the original being remade, two thoughts occurred to me. One. Why? Why on God's earth would anybody want to remake such a fantastic film that even stands up today? I was, to say the least, a bit annoyed. I probably even stamped my feet, but I was definitely upset about the idea. This year, a legend <laughs> is reborn. I get it. You're Yoda and I'm like a Jedi. <laughs> Mr. Han? Your focus needs more focus. If it's taking place in China, why Karate Kid and not Kung Fu Kid? This question was and is still a mystery to me. But after seeing how closely the film takes up after the original, I figured I can still live with the same title. I mean, it's Karate, not Kung Fu, and Jaden Smith is not Ralph. And it makes more sense not to call it the Kung Fu Kid because it's unapologetic about the fact that it is a remake. You're just a maintenance man. I will teach you real kung fu. Hang up your jacket. Put it on. Take it off. I did jacket off. Kung fu. You've seen how we put on the jacket. Be strong. Take off the jacket. And you've seen how we treat people. Everything is kung fu. Get off! <laughs> This film is all about the 12-year-old Dre Parker, who could have been the most popular kid in Detroit. But unfortunately, his mom's latest career move lands him in China. And China, where he falls for his classmate Mei Ying, and the feeling is mutual. But unfortunately, their cultural differences makes this friendship simply impossible. Even worse, Dre makes an enemy of the class bully, Cheng. Now, in the land of Kung Fu, Dre knows very little karate, however, and hence, Cheng puts the Karate Kid on the floor with ease. Now with no friends to turn in a strange land, Dre turns to the maintenance man, Mr. Han, who is secretly the master of Kung Fu. Now Han teaches Dre that Kung Fu is not all about punches and parries, but maturity and calm. Dre realizes that facing down the bullies will be the fight of his life. In Chinese. Dude, I'm from Detroit. Welcome to Beijing. You gonna do something? I just want to go home. This is home. I thought you were just a maintenance. Coming to the critical review of the film, first off, this really is a remake. They follow the original almost step for step of the Karate Kid released in 1984, including the same dialogues and certain scenes. Now, this really is a good movie. I don't think you can shoot a bad or ugly movie in China. 10%, love, 20% skill, 15% concentrated power of will, 5% pleasure, 50% You don't know the rule? Simple. You hit him, don't let him hit you. What? The Karate Kid. The film has humor, but Jaden's character was so unlikable that I was actually rooting for the Chinese kids to kick his butt the entire time. And what with his relationship with the Chinese girl, it got a little creepy there when she started doing this weird strip dancing number and I felt like I was going to be arrested for watching it or something. I felt Jaden can act but I wasn't too sure if the Smiths were actually trying to pay homage to the original or just to throw their kid on screen so we can see that he can dance. Also, I don't think I needed him to take his shirt off but like father, like son, I guess. It's like Star Wars. You're Yoda and I'm like a Jedi. Um, that's nasty. Well, my take on the movie is mixed. I didn't love it. I didn't hate it. It was too long, but Jackie steals the movie and the scenery is beautiful to look at. The Kung Fu was decent. The fight scenes weren't bad. In fact, Jaden pulls some crazy moves out of nowhere. 
But there wasn't any blood on any of these Chinese kids, which is really annoying. I mean, not even a bloody nose. So much for realism. And I thought blood was acceptable in a PG-rated family film that deals with kids that beat the crap out of one another. Dre, are you ready? Come on, you can't miss this place! I feel like we're on a quest to start a new life. Welcome to Beijing. A life he never wanted. Look at that, Dre. Beverly Hills. We always talk about living there. Yeah, but I think we're talking about the other one, Mom. A challenge he never imagined. I just want to go home. This is home. The only way to stop them is to face them. Jaden Smith's character is annoying before and after he learns Kung Fu. Jackie Chan is great, however, and steals the movie. He, in fact, even has this wonderful emotional scene which got the audience in tears. I will teach you. Nice. A teacher he never expected. Hang up your jacket. Take it down. Put it on. You ready? Take it off. I already did. Jack, get off. Let's go. Well, it's time for me to take a short break, but stay tuned because we're going to be talking about the biggest blockbuster of this year, Mani Ratnam's Ravanan. Don't go anywhere.